All right, so this is my Wondered Provoke 31. Um, I bought this bag a little over a year ago, just before a trip to England. And um, I saw the ads for it online. I had seen them for a while and it seemed like something that would fit my needs pretty well. Uh, so I went ahead and pulled the trigger and I have to say I've been really happy with it so far. Um, just get that out of the way first. And uh, I'd like to do a little bit of a review, you know, kind of like a year on and talk about how it's held up. <clears throat> So the first thing I will mention is the exterior, which I like a lot. I didn't know if I would when I first bought it, but it's very reminiscent of a haul bag. Um, in climbing, haul bags are typically used to pull gear up the side of like a rock face without getting snagged or torn open and things like that. And this, the material feels a lot like that. Uh, and it's, it's <laughs> been dragged over a few rough surfaces and it looks pretty well. It looks pretty good for, for the what I've put it through and uh, it's held up really well. Uh, on the left or right side, depending on if you're wearing the bag or not, there is a water bottle holder. Um, I know that some people will use this to actually store like uh, their tripod where they'll put two of the legs in here and then strap the head on up higher. Um, personally, I just use it for carrying a water bottle. Uh, I feel like that's something that is missing on a lot of camera bags these days and I really appreciate this feature. Um, it's also kind of nice that it'll zip up uh, and tighten down if you have a smaller bottle or some other object that you want to put in there that you don't want kind of moving around. So that's really nice. This whole front compartment is actually a pocket in itself. The whole thing unzips on the side and then getting in here, there's plenty of space if you need any full size or to carry any like full size documents. Um, I will typically put like any kind of gels or lighting modifiers in here that are flat and can sit flat and they, I feel like they're pretty safe in there. Also, I can, it's fine to stuff a jacket in there or whatever. And that works really well. Um, this side pocket over here is how you access the camera cube as Wondered calls it, um, which is I think the best option you have with a setup like this where you have, aside from opening up the back, you have just a side panel here that opens up and gives you access to your camera which works pretty well nothing in there right now but um, so i can fit my d500 with a 24 to 70 millimeter lens in here without the lens hood um, and get it in and out pretty easily nothing snags um, this whole thing once it's all set up right which it isn't right now um, opens and closes really smoothly and i i've honestly this is what I thought I would have the most trouble with because I've had other side opening bags before and sling bags and things like that. And none of them worked exactly how I wanted them to. And surprisingly, with everything else this bag does, this is my probably favorite feature and it works extremely well. It also feels really secure. Um, the fasteners and zippers on this bag all seem really heavy duty and I, I haven't had a problem with any of them breaking or the teeth coming loose or anything like that. Um, so around the back is my second favorite feature I'd say is this little pocket down here built into the back panel. Um, I am pretty uh, fastidious about my documentation when I travel, like having my passport, having my boarding pass, um, visas, anything in the same place and safe but easy to get to. And this fills that need really, really well. Um, the panel just unzips back here. And once it opens up, you get a couple of different pockets in here. Um, I have used this, I think, as it was intended. Uh, I usually carry my um, any airline or reservation info in one of them and my passport in the other. And it has been awesome. I don't worry about um, them wandering off in an airport or anything like that. And that works very well. Um, the next thing is the main compartment of this bag, which is the roll top. I'll show you that before I open up the back. Um, I, I actually love the fact that it's kind of fastened by this big heavy duty uh, metal clip, which works to keep the Velcroed roll top secured um, so it doesn't start to unwind or anything like that. But this uh, this whole roll top design was kind of, kind of interesting when I um, first started looking at it. I didn't know if it was something I'd really like and it turns out I, I do, I, I love it. I, I really like this design. So this whole section rolls up and inside is the main compartment where I typically carry any other like gadgets like a Kindle or my Switch or um, 
headphones, cables, batteries, stuff like that. And it actually has a surprising amount of room in here. I can usually fit all the stuff I'm gonna use on a plane or traveling, plus a jacket and roll it down. And the, the thing that's nice about the roll top when you're putting a jacket in there is it kind of acts like a compression sack where you can roll it down and kind of push the air out and you have this nice compact little unit here that, that works um, to save space. And I, uh, I've used that quite a lot. Um, the next thing is there's a little zipper behind the roll top uh, that opens up into a padded compartment. Um, typically I'll throw maybe a gadget in there or my sunglasses. Um, and it's kind of nice having a fleece lined pocket here um, to just anything you don't want to have scratch, but you want to be able to get to pretty easily. That, that, um, that has been super useful. That might be the most used pocket on this thing, honestly. Um, and then finally, I want to show you the, how the back of this opens up. Um, this is what I think is a pretty great feature because a lot of the time, I mean, this is not new, obviously. Camera bags open from the back all the time. And it's great because you say you're at the beach um, and you're shooting a seascape, but and you want to get to your stuff and you want it to not be near the sand, it's great to set down the front of this bag on the sand, unzip the back, open it up, get to everything you need, close it back up, and you're good. Um, the reason that I like this so much is that I don't feel like I've seen this really on a lot of other bags that aren't specifically designed to be camera bags. And once this opens up, um, you get, hold this part first, um, this mesh lining here unzips to access the internal roll top compartment. Um, so if you need to get to anything in there while you have the back open, that's really nice, especially um, being able to just kind of open this whole thing up when you're packing for a trip and just leave it open and be able to add and take things out as you need and get them ready. Um, right here is where the camera cube goes in. And I have filter holders and things all over the place, apparently. Um, the Wondered branded uh, camera cube. Um, this, you know, honestly, I, <laughs> I gotta say, I really like this too, because this cube, you can take out and put it somewhere else. Like if I'm going on a multi-day dip backpacking trip, I'll take this out and just put it in the top of my, my backpacking backpack. And it's honestly good to go. It's, it's really nice just having a modular design like that. And alternatively, if I'm not going to be shooting anything, but I still want to bring this bag around, as I often do, I will just take this out completely, and then I have this big cavernous compartment in here for anything, really. So if I want to bring, like, gym clothes, or um, I can actually fit my drone in here, which is kind of cool, and it's nice and secure, and it'll zip back up with this. And then on the other side, We've got uh, laptop and tablet compartments. So there's a Velcroed um, elastic strap here that will, well, basically it's thought, <laughs> this has been surprisingly useful because it'll stop things from sliding out if you uh, open up the back and kind of let this part fall back. But there are two compartments, um, one of which is the same material, this kind of nylon as the uh, rest of the interior. Um, the, then there's another compartment where half of it is padded, like a fleece lined, which I'm assuming is for tablets, so you can have the screen facing that. And uh, more often than not, I, I don't typically carry a laptop and a tablet with me. Um, it's usually one or the other, uh, but I have done both and it, it works great, it's fine. Um, so yeah, that's, that's basically, a rundown of this bag and what I like about it. And a year on, oh, one little thing I wanted to mention. This is kind of cool. Um, there's attachment points up here at the top of the, uh, what would be the back of the backpack. And there's also attachment points down a little bit lower here. And so the idea is that you could wear this against your chest, unzip the bag, and then you can have the front come open and then the, uh, if you have straps between these two points, then it's kind of like a work surface that opens up and it's really cool. Um, I've used that a few times where I don't, it's not somewhere I want to set my bag down. Like if I'm, you know, standing in surf or something like that, like up to my knees, I'm not obviously not gonna put my bag down in the water. So that has been very useful. <clears throat> 
Um, a year on. Anything, anything I don't like about it. Um, I have to say, not really. In addition to being my favorite camera bag, this has kind of become my daily driver. I take this with me everywhere. Um, I load it up in the morning for whatever I'm going to do that day, and it comes with me in the car, or um, if I'm going to be flying somewhere, it's extremely useful. You know, that's one of the things I, I think I like the most about it, is that it's just so clean. Like, there's not a lot of straps. There's not a lot of things that are hanging off unless you add those, which I often do. Um, and getting through security and stuff like that is a breeze. It's really nice. Um, it has held up, like I said before, pretty damn well to everything that I've put it through. I mean, it's been to England, to Norway, to... Uh, I can't even tell you how many domestic trips... Joshua Tree, Yosemite, all over the Sierras, um, the Pacific Northwest, um, and it's been dropped, dragged, <laughs> uh, frozen once, which was interesting, um, and honestly, it's just held up, and I, I have to say that this is probably the best bag I've ever owned, and, you know, if you're looking for a bag to move your camera around, um, and you are willing to shell out a little bit of money because this is not a super cheap bag. Um, I would say, or if, you know, even if you don't, maybe it's worth saving up for because otherwise you'll end up like me with a closet full of camera bags and um, not much you're doing with any of them. So that's pretty much it. That is my year on review of the Wondered Provoke 31. Um, I've definitely gotten my money's worth out of this bag, and I, I anticipate that I will continue to, you know, in years to come. So, great product, and uh, surprisingly good customer service, I have to say. Um, anytime I had a question about their products or any of these bags, um, they're really quick. This video is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form by Wondered, but hey, you know, if you guys need me to try anything out, let me know. Um, and that's... Uh, that's it, that's my review. Oh, one more pocket, back here. Yeah, there's one on the side with a little uh, strap in here with a hook on it to hang your keys from, I think, or whatever you could hook on there. And uh, usually I will fit my keys and my wallet in this one. And zips up nice and tight. And that's that. <laughs>